I am so excited for this video because it is going to be a back to school high school makeup tutorial which is the look that I'm wearing right now. Just want to let you guys know that this is still a full face routine and so if you're looking for like a five minute makeup routine or like a no makeup makeup look this is not your kind of video. But honestly in high school I just liked wearing more makeup. It was fun. It made the day more enjoyable whenever I had that time to get ready and so if you're like me and you like wearing makeup which I don't think is a bad thing and I don't think we should like put each other down for doing. I think this is great. With that being said, if you would like to see one that's a little more natural, like just mascara, concealer, the basics, kind of the middle school makeup tutorial, definitely like this video and let me know down below because I definitely be into doing that because I still wear my makeup like that occasionally. And like always, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. The button is right here and I'd love to have you here on my channel. And as you guys are watching this, I'm actually going to be moving into my college apartment. And so that's so exciting. You should definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat because I'm going to be updating you guys on there and I'm just so, so excited. Also wanted to tell you guys, if you're wondering what this thing on my neck is in this video, I burn it really bad with my straightener and it's like scabbing and it's so gross, but I couldn't figure out a way to cover it. So if you're wondering what that is, that is what that is. I know it's kind of gross. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the makeup tutorial. So to start off this look, I am mixing my Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. So I'm basically just making up my own tinted moisturizer, which I think is a great option option if you're in high school. You can totally skip foundation if you want. This is just what I'm doing. So taking this on my finger and I'm simply putting it on my face. And then I'm using my beauty blender to blend this out. Really making sure that I get this all over my face and also down my neck because foundation lines are the absolute worst. <laughs> So for my brows, I'm first just going in with my naked eyeshadow. It's a really nice, just neutral color, and I'm simply going to kind of fill in any bald spots in my brows. I like to do this before I apply any gels, because I find the gels can kind of get caked up, and this just kind of works better for me. And then after that, I use my Holy Grail product. I love this. It is Benefit's Gimme Brow, and it's basically just a spoolie with a little bit of brow gel in it, and this makes your brows so much thicker. If you're someone who likes like really thick brows, I think this product is perfect. So now on to concealer. I am using my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the brightener one. And I'm first just going to apply this underneath my eyes. But I just use this underneath my eyes in kind of a downward sloping triangle. And then I'm also applying it to my lids to go ahead and conceal them. <laughs> As you can see, I have one little lone pimple that showed up last night. And so if you do have any spots, um, you can go in with a concealer. This is my Benefit Boing Concealer. To set my under eyes, I like to use a pressed powder. So I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm applying this under my eyes. I find that using a pressed powder under my eyes just works better and then using a loose powder for the rest of my face. And then I'm using the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It powder, um, which is great. Just applying this to my face very lightly to set my foundation. So for bronzer, I'm not gonna do any heavy contouring or anything. I'm simply taking my Vita Liberata Bronzing Powder, which is more like a self tanner than a bronzer. And I'm just picking this up on my Kabuki brush and I'm lightly gonna put this on my cheekbones. <music> And I'm also blending this on kind of wherever else I want to be a little bit tanner. I usually like to do it right here on my jawbone, on my forehead, or on my hairline. Basically all over my face, but it just gives me more of a tan look. And I'm also blending this down my neck so it doesn't look like a complete another shade. And then for blush, I'm using my 10 color blush palette from Coastal Scents. I haven't used this thing in forever. It's using this one in the corner here. And then just because I like a little bit of highlight, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle and I'm highlighting on my cheekbones, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. Honestly, I would just go like this. You could totally stop it right here, but I'm gonna go on to eyeshadow if you feel like wearing eyeshadow. I'm using my Naked 3 palette, which has beautiful, beautiful just mauve colors. And I'm taking the shade Limit and I'm applying this in my crease. And then I'm going in with the shade Nooner, which is beautiful, and I'm applying this in kind of my outer crease slash outer corner. Kind of just like to flick it inwards a little bit to get a little bit of dimension. 
And then we're just gonna blend those colors out really quick. And then for my shade and light palette, I am using this really pretty cream shade and I'm just going under my brow with it. And I'm also gonna take that shade onto my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm skipping eyeliner and I'm just going straight to mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I think if you like more natural lashes, this mascara is perfect. So as you can see, it's just very natural, um, but they're really pretty. I think this mascara is great for people who like more natural lashes. For lips, we're keeping it very simple and I'm using my Airy Fairy Lipstick from Rimmel. A beautiful, beautiful shimmery kind of pinky nude. Definitely just a staple lipstick that I wear all the time. And I think I'm gonna put a gloss over this. This is the Wet n Wild gloss in the shade Jackie a la Mode. I'm pretty sure this is from their Back to School collection, um, but I really like it. It's a pretty like baby pink. I think it goes great over nude lipstick. And then my staple, I just like to set everything with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, great for school. I know your makeup can totally wear off throughout the day and so a setting spray is probably like one of my number one tips. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is going to be my go-to look in college definitely and I think it's great for those who like to be a little more glam and stuff. Again make sure to like this video if you'd like to see one that's more kind of natural for middle school and all that good stuff. And let me know down below. You should also go watch my last video which will be linked right here. I love you all so so much. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.